Hello. It is Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday the 26th, the day after Christmas. And some weird stuff. Some weird feelings and emotions. Um, this would be the first time in God knows how long. Like, okay, let's put it this way. I think we've been doing this since my mom started her company and it's almost 25 years old and believe it or not I'm 28 so for like a good chunk of my life every year either if it wasn't like the day after Christmas it was like a day or two after the day after Christmas but usually the day after Christmas we go to Florida and for most of my childhood we'd go to Sanibel Island because we had a timeshare there and then we built a house on Sanibel Island, so then we'd go there, and then we, sadly, without getting into details, had to sell the house. And then some odd years, this have been five years, I don't know, a few years later, we had a place in Naples. So we go to Naples, and everything was beautiful, and we'd be there for like a week or so, and then we started actually renting the condo, um... And the renters come in like the first of, not to say July, but no, January. So we'd go for like four days, have a beach time, relax, sleep the days away because we're all exhausted, especially my mother. And then go to Disney World because who doesn't love Disney? And for the rest, so we can make a whole week out of it. And this is the first year and who knows how long that we're not doing that and it feels really weird like I mean we had the trip planned and everything but due to like personal circumstances we're not going my dad might go and he's thinking of going for a day or two because regardless we need somebody to go down there and get our condo rental ready ready for the renters and so under normal circumstances, I'd be in bed and asleep and then be getting up like God knows when in a few hours, getting on a plane and going to the sunshine state. Um, but I'm not. And it's so weird. Like, I don't know what to do with myself, but I don't think my mom does either. We're like, she... As I was saying to my friend, I'm like, she's like the Energizer Bunny. She's like on the go, like non-stop. Like me, I could just chill all day and like watch like TV, binge on Netflix, whatever, and not like be phased by it. And then occasionally I'll get bored and want to go somewhere and do something. But my mom cannot sit still for a long period of time. She gets restless and antsy and has to be on the go, go, go and the move, move, move. Um... <laughs> And so, like, she's just been, like, on going, like, non-stop. <laughs> like, she just doesn't know how to stop and relax. And so she doesn't know what to do with herself. And my dad is, like, thinking, oh, we can go in the city, you know, see a show. We can do this and that. The sucky thing is it's going to be, like, raining almost every day. Otherwise, we'd go down to the beach for a day. Um... So we're trying to think of, like, what can we do with ourselves? So this is, like, the first time I actually be, like, home for New Year's. Um, because I thought I wasn't, so I turned down an invitation, or declined, rather, um, an invitation for a New Year's party because I thought I was going to be home. But who knows what we'll do. And it just feels weird, you know? And it feels sad. Probably... Because the surrounding conditions is where we're not going is what's like really depressing. Um, and because I'm just envisioning in my head like the last couple of uh, New Year's in Naples and that one night where my dad and I just laughed our asses off watching infomercials while we to bed. And then the one year where me and our, our, our former neighbors slash friends Joanne and David we lit those like lanterns which I really want to do those paper lanterns again like I have colored ones so it's like kind of like fireworks but not so loud and scary for me 
But I'm like, where is there a nice open space where like we wouldn't get caught in a tree and like set something on fire? Cause it was pretty dicey. Well, we did it at Naples in the parking lot. So I think you could, yeah, parking lot, parking garage there area. So it's pretty open, but at one point it looked like one of the lanterns was headed towards a palm tree. But otherwise it was like going way out, like by the Gulf of Mexico and up and over the beach and like way up in the sky. So, but I like, and I want to film it too if I do this. And the only place where I think it'd be safest is not where it's really dark. So that kind of is a bummer. So I honestly like I don't know. The only good news is is for my friend Jason because I'll be around and he and I still have to swap gifts. But I just wanted to share with you like sorry I'm not picking my nose up like a zit or something right here which sorry I'm just like lovely lady manners. Um I just wanted to share my thoughts and feelings with you because it's Saturday with Christmas being on a Friday it's just like and Christmas Eve Thursday like an extra weird long weekend and I seriously don't know what to do with myself other than I'm going to be filming a video <laughs> that I know for sure I want to film what I got for Christmas video because I wasn't able to film this year like I have in previous years where like I'm filming me opening my presents like in real time so this like it's like oh look at what I got um because normally I'll see that as I'm opening them and get to see like what everyone else gets but I think this year you might just see what I get um maybe I'll show you which what I got my mom <laughs> because I'm like obsessed with it and yeah so it's just really weird really bizarre um but it just doesn't I don't know I mean I think at some point in January we're gonna go down to Disney um so it's not like I'm not having a little winter vacation but this is so tricky because my brother is going to a wedding and then my my sister-in-law is giving birth Feb, early February it's this wedding's like the end of January I'm gonna be an aunt again there's gonna be a little baby boy and I'll tell you it's kind of strange it's cuz Liam and Hunter they knew the names Liam and Hunter so for a while it's like you could refer to the boys as Liam and Hunter but they still haven't like they have I think a list of names that um they like and they've definitely chosen a middle name so this baby it sounds weird and not totally like nice I don't know not nice it just feels like less personable <laughs> but the poor little baby doesn't have a name yet so they're gonna wait until they like she gives birth and they look at his face and then decide if they look like like I think they're go going between like James or Simon I don't know so whatever names they have like to look at the baby and see like what name fits him so until then I was just I just heard him as like the baby he's just the baby so he'll be coming on the scene into my life and I'll get to do the whole feeding a baby and burping a baby and doing all the baby stuff which I kind of miss in a way because it was a lot of fun with my with the Lehman Hunter and they're excited to be big brothers so there's like a lot of changes and things going on good and bad right now in my life and so it's kind of hectic and yeah so thought I'd just share share with you <laughs> and I'm still trying to figure out if next year if I want to like put out a video every day or not I know I've been doing that and I'm sure y'all been loving it um but I might just do like a few videos a week I might film every day but not upload every day I'm not totally sure but I definitely want to kind of figure out what I want to do I don't want to do what I've been doing and that's filmed to the point where I have like six memory cards full and then I now finally get around to editing them and it's winter and you're watching summer videos like 
I want things to kind of be, I don't know, more sched, not sched, well, scheduled, but like makes sense. Like if it's fall, you should be watching like me when it's fall, not like a uh, springtime or something. You get the gist. Anyway, my battery's flashing. I need to go charge this camera, grab a snack, and head on upstairs to my room. So thank you guys so much for watching and for being here. And stick stick around, will ya? No, subscribe if you want to stick around for some more fun. Don't forget to like this video and to check the description box down below so you can see where else I am on social media and stay connected with me all the time. And until next time, keep it quirky.